ladies and gentlemen. My name is Allison Cruz, and I'd like to welcome you to something a little different for the channel. This is Tetris Effect Connected, and this, my friends, is the end user license agreement. <laughs> All right. As a kid growing up in the 90s, I used to love Tetris, and honestly, I used to be kinda good at it, but as I got older, it seemed to become less and less popular among friends and general media. That is, until the past six or seven years or so with the insane resurgence in popularity. And as a result, we have modern day Tetris. And although we'll eventually get into some competitive gameplay like I know you want to watch, we are going to brush the rust off in journey mode. And as we begin, I eventually do want to go into expert mode, but we'll beat normal first and then move in on that. So without further ado, 3, 2, 1, Tetris. So if you'd like to, you can adjust the playfield to be zoomed in or out, but for the purposes of this project, I'll be keeping it at default so that we can see and appreciate the background. What this game really prides itself on is its music and visuals, and it's really what sets it apart from previous iterations. But it does get a little distracting on some stages and makes it really hard to play, as you will see. Now, I don't exactly uh, consider myself proficient at the game, but I do get some real satisfaction getting those boom Tetrises, so if you hear me frantically button mashing to get something over, then I'm sorry. But I wanted to use this series as a bit of a palate cleanser to some other stuff that's been going up on the channel, so you probably won't be seeing as much from this game as whatever else is being uploaded, but... As you can see, the farther in we get, the more the stage evolves, both visually and musically. And it's a good time. Also, as we clear lines, you'll notice my zone meter being increased, and uh, that's going to help us get a ton of extra points, or if you need it to, uh, you can use it to clean up the board in case you're having some difficulties there. But uh, we're gonna probably just use it to stay safe and maybe try to get some extra points if we can. So, if you've got some lines lined up and you've got some Tetrises, just go ahead and pop it. It doesn't have to be full. And there you go. Plenty of extra points to be had, but usually you are gonna want to wait until it's completely, uh, full for you. So, 16 is about all we're gonna get, I think, unless I can get that. Ah, damn it. Close. Uh, the most I've gotten on that is only 20, oh, check this out. Nice, all clear. All right, good start, not bad. Um, Yeah, 20 is the most I've ever gotten, but I'm sure you can probably maybe get one more out of that, but uh, yeah, those have no penalty to your lines, which by the time you reach 36 on normal mode, you're gonna end up uh, moving on to the next stage. So let's just go ahead and build it up because your board does carry over also. And I'm not going to try to really squeeze out some extra lines here because you can go past 36, but we got the Tetris. That's all that matters. <laughs> so stage number two, uh, this one is a little bit harder to see. If you're kind of like me and you rely on the colors of the pieces to sort of determine what they are, uh, this game could be a little bit hard to get into at first, but there are a ton of uh, customization options. You can keep the colors, and uh, they otherwise do a pretty good job at keeping it pretty easy here. So uh, I guess we'll just go ahead and just keep filling it up. And not all of the, uh, <laughs> the songs have vocals in them. I'm gonna try not to talk too much over them. Well, my favorite part is, is the drop in this song. If you know it, you know it, but it's good. They're basically just full of bangers in this game, so. All right, setting ourselves up pretty nicely here. And let's get another Tetris in there. Probably get another one here in just a second. But here we go. I love how it just drops on like a harp flourish. It's satisfying. I don't know about you guys, but uh, 
yeah, let's just go ahead and start building up our board a little bit because now that our meter is maxed out, it's not really going to make much sense to keep trying to build it. So uh, as long as we get a couple of lines in there, that'll probably work out for us. So with that, let's just go ahead and do a quick one. It might have been a little premature, but you know what? That's all right. As long as we get over 16, that is like my bare minimum, then we'll be fine. So, ah, more of this. Cool. Yeah, the highest I've ever gotten was 20, uh, but this might actually... Uh, 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 oh no, I might have screwed that up. I already see where I went wrong. Damn it. Well, Degahexatris, not the worst thing in the world. Probably be seeing plenty of those, but... Yeah, let's keep on going. So clearly, this is definitely going to be a more laid-back project. Um, I don't know if some people would consider Tetris to necessarily be all that comforting, but apparently after experiencing traumatic experiences, uh, I've read that it's generally a good idea to play Tetris so that you aren't extremely traumatized uh, because this game just takes so much concentration. So if it seems like I'm talking a bit like a manic person, then uh, I'm sorry. It, it, it's just what happens when you, uh, you know, live commentate these things. Sometimes you just, you don't think, you just speak. So before we move on and kill this stage, let's just get the quick points here. There we go. Might not have been a good idea because we still have another stage after this we could have saved for, but you know what, two Tetris is, is okay by me. That was a bit of an off the cuff decision. I usually like to wait until they're full, but I'm sure there's probably pros out there that just pop at any second they get for free Tetrises left and right. I love how when you slam down the pieces you get like different noises depending on the stage. Some of them are like kind of scary though. There's one later on that I'll let you guys know about, but it's like legitimately scary to me. All right. So as much as you probably want to go for combos and things like that, uh, playing this game as opposed to something like Tetris 99 or classic Tetris, you're gonna have some uh, different ways of playing. <laughs> and so with this one, I just generally like to build and then Tetris down. I don't care much for combos and things like that. We're just we're just playing to have a good time, you know? Which is never something you want to hear, but yeah, this is actually a bit slower than I thought it was gonna be. I'm usually uh, playing expert, you know? Just because it's, it's a bit faster and the line requirement is a bit higher. So, one of the reasons why I like that, but we can play around a little bit with, you know, sliding and uh, making odd decisions that no one else would ever think to make. So, there we go. And I, okay, I screwed that up. That was my bad. All right, well that's annoying, <laughs> right as I said it too. I just can't be, uh, you know, self-conscious about it. I just gotta go ahead and do it. So, it's a little low, but that's all right. Probably shouldn't have done that. Ah, oh, great, we're, we're already coming down hard, aren't we? Okay. Well, we're just gonna use this to sort of clean up at this moment. There we go. Uh, yeah, I'm not I'm not hitting the threshold, man. Although, hold on, hold on. Okay. Okay, I got the 16 at least. That's good. Okay. So we only have 14 lines left, which is not that many. So that's all right. Another Tetris there. Boom, Tetris for Mr. Cruz. And uh, yeah, kind of an interesting background here. <laughs> One of these days, uh, I'm going to make a video of like a hue light going up against this game. It actually looks really cool. I tried to make one in the past, but the camera's never worked out and it's always looked weird. But maybe one of these days. So we are almost done. We'll have enough space and time for two more Tetrises. So let's go ahead and do it. Although, you know what we should do? Since we have a little bit of our zone meter left, we should probably try to do something with that. So there we go. Wasn't quite a Tetris. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, we'll do that. And there we go. Okay, so at least we got eight lines extra out of that. But we are being graded on time as well. So we probably don't want to waste too much of that either. But here we have it. That's all there is to it. Not bad. 
So SS really is the rank that you're going to be looking for. And uh, for the most part, that's a pretty good chunk of experience there for that. So we got Area 1 music unlocked. And we have our second set of stages available to us, starting with the Jellyfish Chorus. This time there will be four levels to go through, and this also has one of my least favorite areas in the game. Can you guess which one it is, for those of you who have already played? But with that, thank you so much for watching. We'll see how this project goes, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Take care, everybody.